for a change of pace, I'm going to do a video on one of my wife's tanks. Uh, you can tell this isn't my tank because of the substrate. Uh, she takes care of it. I do make the water for it since I make salt water every single day. Uh, she just does the water changes, uh, the maintenance, the aquascape, picks out the few corals and everything else. Now obviously the star of the show is the rhinopius. Uh, this is just an absolutely beautiful fish that we just actually got about a month ago by chance. We did have a blood red one previously. Uh, this one is more pinkish red uh, depending on the lighting and after he sheds he looks a little deeper red maybe. Uh, but the blood red one was nothing like this guy. He barely moved. He didn't eat for three full months. When we finally got him eating, he seemed fine, but then just dropped dead. Uh, I would guess he probably had some sort of internal parasites. Uh, I didn't deworm him, I don't think. But this one has been dewormed by the previous owner. Uh, they don't do well with copper treatments and things like that, but... Uh, deworming is apparently a must for them. Uh, you would never really be able to tell if they had ick or flukes uh, right away, but the previous owner had this guy for I think three or four months and he's actually already shed for us a couple of times. So they shed their entire skin. Uh, right now he's still looking pretty good. There's maybe like a tiny bit of algae growing on him, uh, but because they don't move that much, they actually get algae to grow directly on them. And there have even been copepods cleaning him, uh, which he doesn't seem to mind. The more he moves around, the more hungry he is. And because I'm standing in front of the tank, he does want me to feed him, but that's not gonna happen here. Maybe I'll add a clip of him uh, eating into the video. So obviously we are feeding him our defective clownfish. Uh, typically he'll eat about five a week. Usually we'll feed him three or three at a time and then maybe one or two a couple days after that and then not feed him for four or five days. Uh, you really gotta be careful not to overfeed predator fish. Uh, I read something recently, which is very true, that you've, I've never heard of one starving in a tank. Uh, even the previous one didn't eat for three months and he still looked physically fine. So uh, overfeeding is much more of a concern than underfeeding. Uh, the other concern, which is kind of funny, but important, is we did label the tank Venomous. I couldn't find, uh, there's actually no Venomous logo, but uh, if something does happen to both of us and someone has to come in here, they need to know that this fish could potentially kill them. Well, I've never heard of someone dying from a rhinopia sting. When you uh, look at it online, it does say that it could potentially be fatal. Uh, likely that has to do with allergies, but I don't know and I don't want to know. Uh, we're very careful when working in the tank, but he's not overly aggressive and very slow moving. So if he's over here, you can siphon the crushed coral over here and uh, we use the magnet to clean it mostly and a scraper he's afraid of as well. Uh, unlike our previous frogfish, he doesn't really mow down the fish quickly. He will probably grab the first one right away, but then he'll kind of waddle around and disguise himself as algae or sponge and wait for his moment to grab the others. He's quite an interesting fish to watch, even though he's not particularly active. Uh, I never realized how much they waddle around similar to a sea goblin. A uh, sea goblin is a similar scorpion fish, but they have legs. Uh, I'm really glad this guy doesn't have legs because legs on fish freak me out. But I really like this guy. I'm, we're really happy with him. Uh, he's eating well, he's looking great. Uh, hopefully we'll have him for many years to come. He is quite a big fish. Um, he's about eight inches and they apparently max out at about nine. So I would say he's a full grown adult, but we'll see what happens. Uh, predator fish are certainly cool, but you have to keep in mind, you have to have the proper diet for them. Other than mollies, they shouldn't be eating freshwater fish as the nutritional profile of those fish just don't match up with what they would normally eat. Uh, while he would certainly take frozen food, 
Uh, we did feed him one dead clownfish that was just killed in fighting. Uh, the problem with frozen food, at least human grade frozen food, is the possible bacterial issues. Uh, because when you buy it from the grocery store, it's going to be cooked, so they're not really as concerned about bacteria. Uh, that's why we haven't fed him anything from the grocery store yet. Uh, we may look to vary his diet later, but of course the clownfish he eats are fed a very varied diet. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of varies. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching and happy reefing.